for all of you who don't know, I actually changed rooms. The reason behind that is because I had to drive about a half an hour one way to go play my own drum set. So when my girlfriend offered for me to put my drums up in her place, I, I jumped on that opportunity right away. So I'll give you guys a little tour. All right, another thing I want to show you guys is what I have for my setup. This is not indefinite. Uh, my hi-hats aren't there because I was with somebody recording. So I got my overheads, which I will be fixing. And then I also got a new set of microphones, which I'll be showing you guys a little bit later too. I got all my CAD mics here and then my AKG on the kick and 57 on the snare top running into over here, my 18i20. That way I can just go USB 2 out and then just put the, the computer right here. And then I got the headphone out going into my Mac E Mix 8. And then I can control headphone levels. So it's nice when I'm doing multiple takes because then I could just hit the space bar and the DAW or the DAW and then stop and repeat and try and get a better take without having to run across the room, which is a big pain in the ass. And yeah, I'll be moving these around and then showing you guys a sound difference. So you can probably hear it now that there's a little bit of a reverberation and a natural reflection in this room because it's bright and the floors are all old wooden floors. Here's my helper Gretchen. She's a new new puppy, new addition to the to family. She's helping me out basically sniffing everything around. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, she likes to play drums too. This room is actually pretty high. Like it's I think it's nine foot eleven ceilings. What I did here was I took my two king size sheets that I had on the in the old place. Um, they were sewed together and that brought me from that corner of the room all the way to that corner So basically I shoot from this angle So that basically covers that Anyway, um, the natural lighting from the openings of the windows actually produced quite a bit of light And then I brought my lights and I mounted them to the ceiling Using like drywall holders. It's all lath and plaster So I had to use some sort of anchoring system and then I kind of tied the cables up here ran them across the ceiling and down the wall. So yeah, um, I put some like tin foil around it. It looks like grow up lights, but I put tin foil so I can focus like a barn door. I can focus all the lighting towards the drum set. So yeah, it gives me a much cleaner look and then I could just warm it up and post. Basically what I'm doing with these things, I think initially I'm gonna see, see what I can get, but so I stacked them on each other in the corners of the room to kind of try and get rid of those frequencies bouncing around. They almost get to the top of the ceiling, but I think that should help a little bit more than not having them at all. So I got three other panels. All I need is a few more pieces of two by four and I can get all the corners covered. 